returns. When last we left Canoga Falls, the amnesia epidemic had been totally forgotten. And for the first time in the history of Canoga Falls, Marion did not have a problem. The music had gone out of her life. The music had gone out of her life. Oh, I'm so unhappy. I've always been the kind, lovable, helpful, nosy busybody that people turn to. But now, oh, things are going so well that I just don't have anything to worry about. Up until now, my life has been one continuous daytime soap opera. But now everyone and everything here in Canoga Falls is happy, and suddenly I find that my problem is I don't have a problem. <laughs> to the good old days when we had adultery and bigamy and infidelity and indecency and obscenity and corruption. Could it be that phase four really is working? <laughs> Someone rang my bell. Oh, please, let it be a problem. Arnold W. Minty, Canoga Falls' second handsomest attorney who never married. Come in. I do hope you're bringing me bad news. Oh, I'm afraid I'm the bearer of good tidings. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> but your, your uncle, uh, Ezekiel Crabtree, whom you never knew, but you would have hated if you had, <laughs> has posthumously died and left you $50,000. Oh, boo his. <laughs> Dear, I don't know. No, this is terrible, Arnold W. Menti. Everything's going wrong for me. Even my obscene phone calls have stopped. I've had the same problem. <laughs> oh, I hope it's a heavy breather. Hello? Uh-huh. No, 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 this isn't Charlene. This is Marion, but you can keep... No, 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 don't hang up! <laughs> He's hung up. Of course he is. Normal people don't make that kind of call. Oh! Oh! I hope it's my daughter who returns every year with a child born in or out of wedlock. <laughs> now, that's a problem. <laughs> a daughter... No baby? Oh. Mother, I've reformed. Oh. I've become a Girl Scout. From now on, I'm only gonna sell cookies. <laughs> I'm glad I never had children. Well, here's your inheritance, Marion. But you understand, if somebody contests it, you'll have to come to court. Oh, good. I haven't been in court since last year when I was unjustly accused of suicide. <laughs> Yes, well, goodbye, Marion. Oh, will you write? No, I think I'm going to paint. <laughs> Get it? Oh. Hello. Well, we we're here to give you a problem. Thank you. We're here to contest the will. Oh, that's wonderful. Bless you, even if you are strangers. Come in. Marion, don't you recognize me? She's your twin sister, identical in every way, except for her appearance. How do I really know she's my twin sister? In any event, I shall finally have a problem to face, and I will face it bravely. But first of all, who are you? <laughs> I am Hilton O'Brien, oh. Olympic weightlifter and freelance bellhop. Oh, that's lovely. Now, do you have any proof that you're my real that you're my Do you have any proof that you're my real twin sister? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I know about the common birthmark we both have in an unusual place. <gasps> Only my sister would know that. And of course, my family doctor and the entire brass section of the Tommy Dorsey band. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> well, I tell you, 
tell you what. Why don't you take those bags upstairs while Sissy and I discuss our birthmark? <laughs> First door on the left, and don't you believe a word my daughter tells you about having reformed. <laughs> oh, I hope it's my naughty caller again. <laughs> Hello? Hi, good to hear your breath. <laughs> oh, yes. He's very good. Why don't you ask him over? Oh, good idea. Save your breath and get over here as quickly as you can. Oh, there he is! Marvin Peterson and son. I'm son. And, uh, I think I'd better leave you two lovebirds alone. Thank you, maybe, sister. You didn't call for almost a month. What were you doing? Dialing. <laughs> Boy, I'd like to get you in a back seat or a rumble seat and snap your garter. You know, I was hoping for a much younger man. Oh, I'm young at heart. Reminds me, I gotta get it back by midnight. <laughs> charge for an extra day. Well, at any rate, why don't you please sit down? Right. I'll be... <laughs> any... Mm. Another obscene phone call. I'm on a roll. Oh, he's fantastic. Do you want to hear it? Let me hear that. Hello? He is fantastic. There's only one person that could be. Hello, Dad. It's me, Junior. No, I'm making a house call. sister in the same condition. It runs in the family. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get that either. Wait a second, I'll ask her. Mm -hmm. You and your sister want to go down to the lake and go skinny breathing? 
That's a good idea. Good job. Yes, I think maybe we will go skinny breathing with you. Yes, see you soon. That way, if my sister and I go skinny breathing, I can find out if she has the identical birthmark that I have and if she is my truly twin sister. <laughs> Sissy! <laughs> child, I am also his uncle. Marion, my dear, it's time you knew the truth. You see, I came here posing as your sister when in actuality I am... You're not. Oh, but I am. Well, I don't understand. Then who is she? Well, then I must be. You most certainly are. For the answer to these and other probing questions, tune in tomorrow as the stomach turns.